Graveyard Keeper has been released since 2018, and since then there has been 4 DLCs with a ton of content which brings so much more to the game. Graveyard Keeper is truly grindy and one of those games you can sink hours and hours into. I myself have played over 500 days in Graveyard Keeper, which is crazy as this was not my first ever save. This is my second playthrough and it is the furthest I've got in the game. I have never completed Graveyard Keeper. I am over 500 days and there is still many more things for me to do. This game is super long, especially with all the DLCs. So let me show you around my save file and see what 500 in-game days looks like. My goal this year is to definitely complete this. So I'm trying to get back into it. I did take a little break from Graveyard Keeper, but I'm back and I want to try and complete this fully and actually complete the story. It only felt like yesterday when I remember getting my first corpse and having no idea what to do with it. I even remember throwing the bodies away down the river, making sure nobody saw, like nothing ever happened. But since then, I have handled many corpses. I have buried so many here in the graveyard. I remember all of these graves not even having gravestones or borders. They were so plain, it was just dirt. And now look, we've got a quality rating of 328 and that still isn't even that much. We've got a ton of space left for corpses. I can upgrade even more of these to get a better rating. We've since upgraded the church. I felt like yesterday that I was in here performing my first sermon and receiving my first ever donations and faith. But in reality, this was not yesterday. This was years and years ago. And there is still so much more to do in the game. Graveyard Keeper will keep you playing. And once you get into the rhythm of it and you get the Graveyard Keeper bug, you will not stop playing because you can't. It gets super addicting. I love grinder games like this. And Graveyard Keeper is definitely up there in my top five games. We have so much more people come to our sermons now. We get a ton of money. I remember when we used to get pittance for this. The church is looking good. We have upgraded this. And we're not doing too bad with money either. 16 gold. I did used to have way more than that, but I've been spending a lot of money in the game recently. I now buy and craft speed potions, which gets me around so much faster in the game. It's took me a long time to learn. Graveyard Keeper, there's so much to it and it is very baffling when you first start a brand new save. The reason why I started a second playthrough is because I weren't really happy with the first, I kind of, I was confused, I was rushing through, I didn't really know what was going on, so I wanted to start fresh and uh, yeah, here is this save file, 500 days later. It would be interesting to know how many days or hours I'd have put into the game if I stuck to the first playthrough and I did have a long pause with Graveyard Keeper where I didn't touch the game for a while. Oh, this, uh, this game takes me back, I remember, like I said, chucking the corpses into the river or burying them at a low rating, but now we burn the bodies. We've got my crematorium here and if the body's not good and it's not good enough to be buried, this is the easiest way and the best profitable way to get rid of them because you will get these things here which you can sell down in the tavern so i'm kind of going to show you around almost like a little farm tour or a save file tour and just casually play and enjoy this game because the graveyard keeper bug is finally back and i don't know how i'm gonna stop the house is looking good we've got storage we've got a pantry we've got so much food and cooking is a big part of the game and we've become so efficient in the last few years we now have zombie workers who can help us around the graveyard and around the, the map. We no longer have to do all of the work ourselves, which makes it really, really handy for us. As you can see, this zombie's chopping the wood and this zombie is taking it back to the farm. So I never have to chop wood ever again. I, I'm always full on it. It's really, really handy. I can't remember the last time I actually chopped down a tree, which is insane. Now, one thing I'm trying to do is work on the efficiency of these zombies. Now this porter zombie is not very good. I need to create a new one with no red schools. So then he can transport these a little bit quicker. But to be honest, he kind of catches up with the, the zombie here who's chopping the wood because he does take time to make one log. So it's kind of working okay for me. And that's why I've left that zombie the way he is for a while. So here is the refugee camp, a part of the DLC. We're making good progress here and it still isn't finished. This is part of the story that I still need to continue with. And one of them is here with Master Alaric. We need to supply him with blood. We need normal and buckets. I'm trying to complete this, but um, it's taking some time. We have got to speak to this guy as well. Uh, you know, Keeper, it's amazing. We were miserable fugitives, frightened, helpless, desperate, doomed. And now we've become proud settlers, looking to the future with bravery and hope. This would have been impossible without your help, my dear friend. Well, yep, it would be silly to deny it, but it's thanks to you too. 
Moreover, we have serious potential for further de development. I spoke in secret with the head of the local village, Horodric. We wouldn't mind establishing regular trade with us, and so on. So it looks like we're continuing the story here with a refugee camp, which is amazing. I'm sincerely happy for you and your people. So it's high time to grant you the final part of your fee. Yes, the final part. Oh, we got one gold. We got some, oh my God, look at all this stuff, guys. And we've got no space for it. Now this is the upgraded backpack, which I've been trying to get for a while. So that is really exciting. So we've currently got no space right now. We've got the uh, developed camp. We've got some water here. Can I put this into their storage? Yep, this is kind of for them. Oh, this is exciting. So guys, we've got the universal bag. So if we open this, we now get extra slots of storage here, which is so, so good. I'm pretty sure we can upgrade this again. So this needs to be on your inventory all the time, but then when you open it, you can see some items go in there, which is really good. And we've also got the recipe for this as well. So we can now craft more. This is really going to help. And the storage is going to be super, super handy. So we also got given a book, a gold quality, which is awesome, and some carved pieces of marble, free gold star quality. Wow, this is insane. It looks like we've got to talk to somebody else here as well. Uh, tell me, good lad, did someone ask you to bring something for me? A note? Uh, actually, no. Did something happen? You look really sick. It's sleeplessness, nerves. I can't stop thinking of my son. He's in terrible trouble. He was one of the king's guards. He dreamt of being a guard since he was a child. But recently... Sorry. It's difficult for me to tell. He happened to sneeze during the King's solemn speech for the holiday of great purification. He was fired, lost his home and all his savings, and given an enormous fine. Just for sneezing? Oh my god. I had to sell my tanning workshop, and it's only covered part of my son's fine. That's terrible. You know, even now, living as an outcast, I'm still a mother, and I have to help my kid. Could I ask you to build a tanning workbench for me? Even here, I could earn a little extra money for my son. Okay. So we've got a new task here with Tanner, and we need to build a tanning workbench. So it looks like we're still doing some quests up here, which is really cool. So can we build that just here? Yeah, and we've already got the space for this. Um, and it can go right up there. That's amazing. So let's get building this. It looks like we've got all the supplies that we need. The refugee happiness has gone back down to zero, because you need to use that in order to build more stuff. But that will go back up if you keep them fed. Which is... Uh, and they've got some kind of water, which they've now got a well and they can supply their own food because here I have built them a little farm so they are living life right now they've even got honey look at this so we actually got given a gold ingot as well that's so good right where did Tana go oh she's here 50% discount for inquisitors damn them they don't even deserve 10% Okay, I made it for you. What else can we do? Thank you very much, although I'm not comfortable asking you for anything else. In fact, I'm in need of something. My son said to me in this note that he's going to a forest with his friends. They'll be robbing the wealthy and giving the money they steal to the poor. <laughs> oh my god. But they need special costumes for protection against mosquitoes and enemy arrows. And they're also good for picking up girls. I've decided to make these costumes from leather dipped in cow's milk and egg yolk. I already have enough leather. If you are so kind as to build a small animal farm. Okay, I'll let you buy my best bags. Ooh, good bags are always useful, all right? So we can build her an animal farm, which is pretty cool. And then we get to buy tool bags. Guys, look at this. We get to carry fish, Farmer's bag, tools, the tool bag seems amazing by the way. Alchemist bag, so all the potions and stuff can keep in there. Oh wow, these aren't cheap. So now we need to build here, the fence supplies for the farm, but we need 12 more happiness and of course 24 flitch. Which the only way the happiness can go up is just by kind of waiting, you know? It's already going up a little bit, just gotta let them live a little bit, get happy, they've got food. We can supply them with that. We'll check their storage here and see how that's going on. Yeah, they've got berries in here. They've got pumpkins. They've got honey, mushrooms. They've got all the water they need. I think they're doing okay. Maybe we could buy one of these now. Should we get the tool bag first? Let's try that one out. So it looks like the bags have got to stay in your inventory. But obviously, look at that. You do get slots, obviously, specifically for tools. So if you want to carry extra pickaxes, so when they break, you can just kind of use your new one. Very, very good. I might get the farmer's one as well. And we can put things like fertilizers, seeds. That's going to be really, really good. But this is the one we want. Just a normal universal. So you can put anything in there. We need to craft more of those. It takes one slot, but it gives you nine. So let's say eight slots extra. If you remove the one that it actually takes up. 
So you can't complain at that. There's the zombie worker doing his thing, and as you can see, he's already collected three logs, and this zombie's not even chopped, like, one yet. So, yeah, it's kind of taking some time. Maybe need to get his efficiency up. If, I, if I've got a better zombie who's, who's got more efficiency, I might have to swap. I've got my own bee owls farm here. So honey is always collectible, which is good. You can use honey for a lot of things in this game. And if you want to build more beehives, which I think we've got another space for like three or four more, we need more bees. I've got logs everywhere. <laughs> we no longer need them. We are going to need more of this stuff, the flitch. So let's get crafting some of this. It's going to be used for the new farm area, more bee houses, and lots of other stuff in this game. Now it's night time, we've got no energy left, I could eat something, but the best thing to do when it's dark is just sleep and uh, have a full day behind you. Okay, it's a fresh day, it's time to clear up some of my space in my inventory and get started with a few more quests because I want to get one step closer to completing this game. The bodies are done, lovely, we've actually got more wood billets so we can craft more spaces, we've got three more bodies left. We've got to get rid of these bodies, otherwise we won't get any new ones. We've only got like a, a max of nine, I think, that we can have. So we've got to get rid of them. There we go. The donkey wants more carrots. He will not deliver us any corpses until we do that. So right now we've got four inside here. Which one's been delivered and I forgot about. But I am using these bodies. They are rotten right now, but I need the blood. This is going to be for the quest where this like weird vampire person is demanding it. So I'm kind of just taking all the stuff off these, the flesh that we can sell the, uh, the meat. The fat can be used for crafting. If it's a body that I don't want, I'm just taking all the good stuff from. Don't forget those bones as well, which can be used for lots of things. So this is one other body that we no longer need. Let's put away all of my nails and parts until we need them. We've got another gold statue. We've got three of those. So we've got four in total. That's going to be really good. Now, the iron hammer and some of these chisels will be really good, hopefully, if we can fit them into the tool bag. Oh, only the hammer. Chisels don't go in there? Oh, that's annoying. They should be able to go in there, in my opinion. Maybe we can make some other tools. I've just been repairing these with a whetstone, but I guess it's always good to, to craft more, to put in the tool bag, just in case one breaks and we're out quite far away. So let me craft an extra tool for each, for each one. We'll get that pickaxe as well, pickaxe too. Just eating these cheesecake right now to keep us going. So can I put these into the tool bag? Yes, there we go. So we've got extra tools on us. And if these do break, like the axe is very close, then I can just get into the tool bag and kind of swap out. And then we'll always have an extra one. That's really handy. Nice. I wonder what else we can put in there that classes as a tool. Okay. We're making moves right now, so let's see what we can focus on. I need to go and sort out the other bodies that we've got before we start getting some new ones in. So we've got a body on here. Like I said, it's not fully rotted yet because it's on a fridge pallet. It's getting close. We need to hurry up, but we need to remove the red schools if we want to do anything with this. And I don't think we're going to be able to do that. So blood's always good because this gets rid of a red school. And fat is also the same. It does the same effect. So we're all down to three right now. But what we can do is go to the embalming table. Silver injection would get rid of one, but a gold would get rid of two. So let's put the gold in there and see if we can get this body any better. I might be able to use this for a zombie worker and get some good efficiency on it. Now these two are completely rotted here, so let's take this body out and let's just use this one just for the, the goods. We'll take out the blood and all the stuff that we need. Can do the same thing. This one's gonna get burnt. And that's it. Let's get rid of this one. If it goes below, I think, 96% or something like that, it's kind of classed as rotted. And then you'll start getting these green faces here, which you don't want. Never bury those into your graveyard. You'll get a, quite a bad rating. We're really low on food, but we've got a lot at home. So let me just take care of this body. And we should be good for today. Now, don't really take out any of these ones, like the brains and hearts and stuff because you don't really use them for much. Here's the zombie juice if I want to make a zombie worker, we just need to put him down here onto this. And we'll see what efficiency we can get. Okay, so now it's got one red skull. Can we put something else into there? Uh, is it going to be the acid? That's also going to remove a Y, but that might not be too bad. Can we put on a silver as well? Let's try that. I think a gold and a silver looks like it's going to remove that red one, but also keep 
the white or gain a new one. This could be a very good body to turn into a zombie. This one we're gonna take down to the creme. Let me build some more of these spaces. Rest in peace. There we go. Let's take a look at the other one. Has it finished yet? Not quite, nearly there. And there's the universal bag. We need tanning agent, okay. We need to be making this. Luckily, I've been keeping all the skin from the bodies, so I kind of expected we'd be using that. And here we go, guys. A very, very good body. Nine. Let's go and turn this into a zombie and get a very good, efficient worker. Um, let's resurrect. We need to use faith for this. And here we go. We're creating a zombie worker. 22. Okay, I'm going to use this zombie to go and put onto the, the wood. Or, in fact, let me just go and double check. We have also got some zombie workers who work on the farm down here and they are quite slow as you can see he's currently making wheat which is used a lot for bread and it's also good for beer so let's wait for him to finish this this one we are tied as well so let me take him out and let's see so he's only 15% efficient that's not very good not on the farm as well it does take some time so let's go and put the better zombie worker in here and then we'll have to go and craft some more of these awesome zombies so he is going to be working on the farm a lot faster now we've got one here he's not doing he's not that great but he could be on here which he can start making us some boxed goods like he can take these down we've got lots of resources we can make some of those we can maybe get him on one of them and one of them making use of this zombie he's not the best but it's okay so here is my tavern we need to be serving some booze and food down here and this is the chest where I was planning to use for cooking up the burgers so all the baked meat goes here the bread for the sandwiches and the onions so it's all gonna be burgers all the time so that's what I was doing the bread for and that's what I'm creating gold burgers a gold bowl of pumpkin soups the onion rings so then when you perform something like a fest uh, comedy stand-up or something like that you're gonna get a lot of money tavern quality is good we've got three star we probably should be doing that to be honest we need more flyers the only thing we need is we just need some booze to get sent down here and then we can run that and make a lot of money which we can go and check on that situation right now with the wine and the beer and see what is going on you can already see guys why this is grinding so we've got zombie workers here so he's only got 10 percent efficiency of the cargo and this guy's got 15 and that's not very good and he's the one who's on the grapes, which he needs to be quite good, really. But there we go, he's taking the grapes down into our winery. And then we should have a zombie down there who actually makes the wine. So let's go and see what's going on down there. Whilst the grapes are still coming in nice and hot. Okay, I've crafted some myself, and here he is, making the gold wine. The grapes are going into here, it seems. Pure, yeah, he's using pure grapes. Okay, we need more grapes down here. Holy crap. But we can make some gold quality. 20 bottles, hopefully this comes out gold. We can make some ourselves there grape juice we need more water down here this guy's stopped making beer because does he need it he's on 22 percent efficiency which is quite good as well and you are 15 on the wine damn it that's not very good either and in this chest there's all the beer that we've got guys we just need to take this down so we're already getting some wine and beer we've got meads this is all stocking up look how good that is that's incredible we should make some big money so i'm going to go up to the refugee camp and let's see if that has now got 12 happiness, I don't know if it will. But one thing I will do as well is take some of these flitch that we need. So we've got 30 on us already. That's not bad. Quickly make some more of this sliced meat that we can cook up to make more burgers. We'll kind of fill that out. We need some more bread to take down to the, um, the tavern as well. Let's get his stamina back up. We've got quite a bit to do right now. Let's teleport straight away to the talking school. I can keep that up there. Let's make this meat. That's baking away. Use this chest for the bread. And there's the burgers that we can make. Refugee camp next. Let's see what's going on here with the happiness. 12 out of 12. Lovely. We should be able to do the farm. What else did we need? Ah, oh, wood billets. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I knew I'd forget something and I've just used this teleport stone so let's try and head back home quickly these are all full up so we can just use 
these ones. Now we should be able to use teleport stone to get straight back up there, which is good. And let's try again. Let's build up this little farm. This is going to be good. Exciting. Okay, and it's going to go where? Oh, I see a little place down there behind the tree. So it's, the happiness has gone back down again. Oh, look at this. Nice. There she's coming. She's coming. There we go. Your farm's finished. We've got plus 40. She's on 70 right now. Right, the big tournament of Bowman approaches, and my son and his friends hope to participate in it. Wearing the new costumes. Uh, okay. Rose could sell me a cow. Oh, we've got to go and buy one. Maybe the weird house with the egg basket. Some chickens. We get to buy some animals, guys. Yes, let's go. I like that. We can go to the talking school again anyway, because... What I'm gonna do is, that should be done now. We need to cook these burgers. Oh, we need 20? 20 meat? What's going on here? Can we just put that into... We've only got 17. We need more? Also, if you're curious, we've actually... I think we've near enough done the whole of the technology tree. All of the alchemy stuff is done. We can't buy any more. We have got all of the book writing to the end. We've got all of the, the farming to the end. We've completely done all of the smithing, the building, the cooking. There's just one more on spiritualism, which is the new DLC that we've just had. Uh, but I'm just needing 30 more of these little blue faces, which we're going to work towards. And then on theology, we also need two more. But look how much blue points we need for both of those. And then we are done. So there's three more technology things to buy right now. There is some that's got question marks though, I've noticed, and it says that we can reveal them uh, soon, so I don't know when that will come, but that's quite exciting. So today is the blue moon day, which is the astrologer, but there's nothing that we need to do with him right now. So when the merchant arrives, we need to give him that strange mayonnaise, so I will wait until we do that one. That's part of that quest, and I think that might be quite close to finishing with him. And then the inquisitor, we need to show him the witcher's Ash that we, I think we do have. We're very close to finishing all the story now. Uh, Yurik, the Charge Sins of Wrath. Did we do both of those? I can't remember. Well, first of all, let's go and buy these cows and chickens. You can get lost in this game. There's so much to do. It is crazy. So this is the chicken place. Um, buy hens for 50. Oh, we're going to spend a lot of money on this, aren't we? Okay, so we've done that one. We've got to buy cows now. It's a good job we've got the money. 16 gold. Cows are going to be double this, I think. This may be one gold. Um, and there she is. Exactly what I said. One gold. Oof. One of your cows. One gold for a cow. If you love someone, set them free. <laughs> nope. Who said it? It sounds so beautiful and wise. I don't know who said it, but yes, it's very wise. Do you know any other wise phrases about love? Tell me. Life is the flower and the love is the honey. Love is smoke made with the fume of sighs. And to love a cow means to sell it for one gold. Okay, she did it. She fell for it. The poetic. So now we can go back and speak to Tanner and that's that done. Are they going to be down here? Yes, look at that, guys. We got some chickens and a cow. Nice. So now she can get the egg yolk and the milk to tan her special costumes for her son which they're going to rob the rich and then give the money to the poor. Don't go away. I need to speak to you. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. If you go to your tent, we'll not be able to do the quest. Where are you going? She's going to go to a tent. No! Go wait till the morning. But whilst we're here, we did need water to start making the wine and beer. Or the beer. So let's fill all our venture up with this. Just need to eat some of these. So it's really good. This is a well. It takes a lot of stamina. But it's so much easier to get water than it is with the well that we've got at home. There we go. I think that's all we can get right now. Perfect. Let's go back home. And we'll put the water inside here. Right, are the grapes still coming in? Slowly but surely. The gold ones are. We need a zombie who's more efficient. So boxes of goods are down here. The zombie is working, which is good. And then normally we have a zombie on the cargo here. You would take these and put them into a room here for the trader or the merchant. Um, we've already got some money. These fill up and then every trader or merchant day, we will sell them. So it's a new day. We should be able to do that quest now. Let's get up there and have a look. There she is, she's out. Okay, there's the cow and chicken. Wonderful, it was so useful for our community. My son and his friends just collected enough money to pay off their debts. But like I said before, they're going to give the stolen money to the poor. 
They were, but then they decided that would do too much harm to the country's economic system. And they started robbing poor people too. <laughs> oh god. Nevertheless, I'm very grateful to you. Let me share with you some of my skills. Oh, there's the achievement. Okay. Oh, we've got the recipe to craft these ourselves so we don't have to buy them. Okay, well, we just wasted money on buying them. Guys, look, we've got the recipe for these. A food bag, potion bag, and the recipe for them as well. Oh, the food bag sounds amazing. And the builder's bag. Guys, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to spend the money on this stuff. It's two gold. Very pricey. I could buy the recipe, but I think we can. We only need to craft one of these, really, for now. The universal bags that we can craft at home should be okay. I'm going to buy them. Let's do it. So now look at this, guys. Potion bag. I can now keep in my speed potions. My energy and health potions. Lovely. We go into the food. I can now keep in all the things that I eat. Oh, we can carry more as well now. Tool bag's looking good. The farmer's bag. Universal for all sorts of stuff. That is fantastic. Lovely. And then the builder's bag as well. Where's that? There it is. We can put wood. Oh, that's quite a big bag as well. Guys, we no longer have to keep coming back to the chests. That's amazing. Oh, look, they're cooking some eggs from there. They're making boiled eggs. Wow, they have a big storage, don't they? It's a big tent. They've got lots of water. Look, they're making all sorts of stuff now. Honey pudding. They've got cheese coming in from the milk. Let's go. They are living life here. Inventory's looking so much cleaner. Oh. So I'm actually going to stock up on some food. Stuff that we can eat. I think this is amazing. And put it into the food bag. We've got 20 gold red wine. Where did that come from? Did we just collect it? Wow, we are making some good wine here. We definitely need to run a sermon to get our money back. Once this gets filled out to the, the top, I'm going to get a zombie to start taking it all down. And I will help him as well. The gold grapes are coming in now. So he's going to be making lots of this gold quality red wine for us. And this guy's making silver beer right now because I don't think I have gold hops. Yeah, we've only got one. So we're trying to use our silver ones right now. Not the best quality, but we still can sell it. And then I was using the honey to make some mead. Okay, so today is going to... Well, the new day is going to be the merchant day. And I've got to go ahead and give him this mysterious food source to kind of continue his story. And hopefully we can get that one done uh, very soon. So let's take a speed potion. He should be there very soon. And let's see how this progresses. I kind of skipped a few days there, and in the meantime, I was just getting some stuff done around the graveyard or the farm. Right, they it should be coming sometime in the morning, and it'll be here in front of this place where we sell all of our goods. The mysterious abandoned barn. Here he is. So let's talk to him. We also need to give him a shard. God damn it! There's always something with this game. That's one thing you'll learn about Graveyard Keeper. You've got to be going back and forth a lot of times. And that's why I love the speed potions. These things are darn great. I think it was just the one. We've still got a bit of time. Can I craft some buckets of blood? Here it is. We can craft a bucket of blood. This might be good. We'll give, we'll give this to that um, guy at the refugee camp as well. It costs, you need 10 blood for that. So I'm hoping <laughs> it kind of unlocks something for him. I'm not going to lie, the latest um, DLC, the Better Save Souls, is very confusing. It's took me a while to get my head around it. Got some more of those shards there. But I think we just need the one. Right, and let's try this again. Hopefully that is enough. Yes! Right, in the market for something, Keeper? Not exactly, but I think you'll like what I'm offering you. You want to sell something to me? How interesting. Not exactly. Would you be interested in trying a sauce that makes any dish taste even more delicious? Hmm, interesting. So the witch actually helped us with this. And what do you ask in return? Nothing? Very suspicious. Tell me what's the catch? There's no catch. I'm just trying to talk to the person who knows, who knows the most about food. That's why I'm talking to you. Yes, indeed. You've come to the right person. Well, if you require nothing in return, give me the sauce. I'll try it with some bread. So the witch helped us. It makes all the food taste amazing. And in return, it gave us the uh, item that we need. Subtle notes of tart rye and a deep earthy taste. Will you let me keep it? Of course, I made it specially for you. If I find myself in a more favorable financial situation, I'm gladly sh I'll gladly share a small amount of money with you. So thank you very much. It's nice. 
So this is what we needed, charged shard, because the person who wants this is Yurik. We also need to get the shards of Raph, which I don't think we've got yet, or Wraith, whatever you want to say. The next day I want to wait until Inquisitor arrives, which is in two days time, because we need to give him the Witch's Ashes that we have got. I need to give some carrots to Donkey, we need more bodies in order to continue this. I'm going to harvest all of my onions. and plant some new carrots. Right, we filled that up for him. Add some carrots left over. Let's go to the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor is on his way, but before we do that, we need to craft something up uh, near the portal. This is the old point of the game. We need to craft a portal to, to go and find out with true love, you know, to escape this place. We can do this one here, the emitter. We can craft this one. We still need to try and complete the barrel. In order to do that, we need the necklace and the golden angle. And we've only got the endless notebook right now. So that's the last one that we need. But here is the Inquisitor. You might give us the next one. We have got this ash for him. I think this is for the Inquisitor. Of course, we need some of that as well. Oh my God, this game. <laughs> no. I should always carry this stuff on me, to be fair. That's what I'm going to start to do. Maybe we could fit it into the, the bag that we've got, the universal bag. Right, we should be okay. Let's try that again. Here we are, finally. Okay. Uh, what's this? I understand that you work with corpses and you may do whatever you like with them. But you shouldn't be bothering me with this sort of thing. I'm not here to bother you. Here, take a look. And what is it? It's witch's ashes. The handkerchief smells like an old witch. Sniff it for yourself. Indeed. Does this mean I burn witches? Purge the word of their unholy power. There's the achievement. We have got the other shard, the raff. Oh my God. Let's go and give it to uh, the person who needs it. We've got both of the shards. Yes, come on. We're getting somewhere. We're going to complete this game. As you can see, guys, 500 and what? Probably 520 days right now into the game, which is quite a long time. And we still haven't finished it. Here we go. I've got two more of the shards. Um... We've got a nice little cutscene here. We're under the plant, sit down. I activate the mechanism. Right, it's going to take a seat. Come on. We've now fixed this up as well. We're lighting up those two. How did it go? Was it all right? Phew. So it would seem I am weak, just as before. Except, you see, it feels somehow empty in my soul. Another achievement. Let's go. I think you need some rest. Yes, you're right. I'm going to take a nap or something. Let him rest for now. I'll visit him tomorrow. Okay, we're getting somewhere with the quest, guys. We are getting somewhere with the quests. Uh, this body, okay. Keep him on the fridge pallet for now because we still have one on here that I forgot about. But guys, I've been recording for hours. I do need to wrap up this video. This was just me playing Graveyard Keeper, showing you my save file, which I'm in, you know, over 500 days in. This game is so grindy, and it's my job to try and finish this. I want to really complete this. If you want to see more to this, watch me complete my Graveyard Keeper, maybe like a completion series. Let me know down below, and we'll turn this into a little mini-series and try and get it to 100%. We've still got quite a lot to do. I actually don't know how far away we are. It feels like a long time, but we'll, we'll see how we go. Do let me know. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. I really want to complete this game. Try and hunt for all the achievements and get everything done in the save file subscribe if you want to see that and lots of more content on the channel i'm really pumping things out right now thank you all for the support take it easy and i'll see you on the next one Whew. we've got a lot of work to do